Okay. So, we went down to the river earlier today. I do got one clip of us catching, me catching one of these carp. The other carps are in the bag ready for a catfish bait. And here we got the BK7. And then a cheap $3 Walmart knife. So, for bait, what we do is cut the head off. Rip the head out. Take the guts out. Okay. And then my way I like to do it is I like to cut just a little bit of the gut cavity out. Okay. And then here you got carp eggs, which are not even edible. Sorry for the idiot dogs. They're annoying. Okay, so cut the tail off. that off. Okay, so what you left now is just the basic body of the fish. It's up to you if you want to take the fins off. I'm not gonna. Okay, and then if you want to scale it, you can do that too. But what I like to do is cut it in about inch to inch and a half slices. For bait. And then when we're fishing, we'll probably cut a little bit of excess off. Also, if you want to use the guts for bait, that's kind of what you want to do. I don't really do it. Alright, and then for the head, you can just throw that away. And then I might as well get this one done on camera. This is a buffalo carp, and I'm gonna cut just about half of I'm gonna get a full fillet off of it. For uh, we're gonna eat it. So I'm gonna get a full fillet on it. So what you wanna do, I don't have a fillet knife right now. So what I'm gonna do. I'm going to cut right behind the fin. As you see, you can open it up very easily. I'm going to grab a smaller knife. Push it in. And then just kind of push down. And then... Just kind of... Part of that tail. And as you see, you just keep on going along. I'm not the best flare in the world, but I'll get a little bit of meat off of it. 
And this one was a female as well. Packed full of eggs right there. This whole handful is eggs. Bro. Can't eat those. Cut off your slice. Okay. I probably should have scaled this beforehand, but since I didn't, I'll figure out a way to get the scales off. Might as well do this side too. Gonna scale this side so I don't have to deal with the scales when I'm done playing it. I don't know why, but buffalo scales are always the hardest to get off. I'm just gonna cut them off. There, that works a little bit better. Okay. Get these top scales here. I'm gonna try to fillet this side just a little bit better than I did that last side. Okay, so go right behind the fin, cut down. I'm just gonna cut around it. And then I like to leave the head on for leverage. Come over here. I'm gonna start right here. Puncture. I'm gonna just go along the rib cage. And what you guys are seeing there is actually it's fully dead obviously. What we did is we shot it a couple times in the head. And so we made sure it was fully dead. These are just nerves. around the rib cage roll it off okay got your fillet and then you can leave the skin on it if you want other than that you just cook it and then that'll be the end of the video